Ladies and gentlemen, it brings us immense joy to extend our heartfelt welcome to this momentous event. Today, we are thrilled to unveil the captivating future of Web3, a convergence that brings us a profound transformation reshaping our world. In today's presentation, we will embark on a thrilling journey titled The Rising Star in Web3, SocialFi. This serves as a continuation of our previous sessions and together we will discover the origins of SocialFi, explore the features of SocialFi platforms and differentiate between centralized and decentralized social media. And without any further delay, let us commence today's presentation. The art of SocialFi. So, what is SocialFi? SocialFi refers um, to the integration of social media platforms with blockchain technology, creating a new paradigm that enhances user control, privacy, and incentivization. It combines the social aspects of traditional social media platform with the decentralized and transparent nature of blockchain. User empowerment. SocialFi aims to give users greater control over their data and online presence by leveraging blockchain's decentralized nature. Users can have ownership and control over their personal information, social connections, and content. Transparency and trust. Blockchain technology provides transparency and immutability, which uh, can help combat issues such as fake news, misinformation, and centralized censorship. With blockchain, users can verify the authenticity and um, origin of the content, ensuring a more trustworthy social media environment. Alright, so discovering deeper into social fi with peer-to-peer -peer interactions or P2P and content monetization. So decentralized social networks are built on a blockchain technology and operates without central authority or control. Now, when we look at uh, P2P interactions, decentralized social networks facilitate direct interactions between users without the need for intermediaries, in other words, um, middlemen. Users can connect, communicate, and share content directly with uh, one another, fostering a more peer-to-peer -peer and community-driven social experience. Now, for content monetization, the blockchain-based social platforms, it often enabled content creators to monetize their contributions. Through the use of tokens and smart contracts, creators can receive direct financial reward for their content, engagements, and contributions. This allows content creators to be more independent and financially rewarded for their work. Engage and prosper tokens reward and gamification. SocialFi platforms incentivize user participation and engagement by introducing tokens and rewards. Token economy. SocialFi platforms typically have their own native tokens, which can be used for various purposes within the ecosystem. These tokens can represent value, enable transactions, and incentivize users to participate, contribute, and engage with the platform. Rewards and gam Gamification Users can earn tokens and rewards for activities such as creating content, sharing, commenting, liking, and participating in community initiative. This gamification of social media encourages active participation fosters um, community engagement and rewards the users for their contribution. Now that we pretty much covered uh, generally what SocialFi is, 
Here is the features in the Social5 platforms. So it prioritizes the user privacy, data ownership, and censorship resistance. Let's look at number one, enhance privacy. So blockchain technology provides the potential for improved privacy by allowing users to have control over their personal data and choose what information to share with others. The centralized social network aims to reduce the reliance on centralized servers, limiting the exposures of user data to potential breaches and unauthorized access. For data ownership, with the blockchain, users can have ownership and control over their data. They can decide how their personal information is um, used, shared, and monetized. This gives them a greater autonomy in controlling the social media landscape. And lastly, censorship resistance. Blockchain-based social platforms, it aims to re resist censorship and content manipulation. Due to the decentralized nature of blockchain, content, most content posted on these platforms is less susceptible to being altered, removed, or censored by central authorities. This provides a more open and transparent social media environment. Now let's take a look at the examples of successful Socialfy platforms. Our Socialfy superstars. We'll start with um, Mirror.xyz, or known as Mirror for short. Mirror was launched in 2020. It is described as a first of its kind decentralized writing platform, developed to help creators connect with their target audiences in a more direct and innovative way. So here are the points of how um, Mirror works. It aims to revolutionize the connection between creators and their audience. The platform allows writer to monetize their work through crowdfunding using NFTs. Of course, Mirror employs a gatekeeping system for content control and quality assurance. And next off, published content is added to a blockchain to prevent duplications or unauthorized users. So all the contents are unique. It can be copied in a way. Users must go through a vetting process before being approved to publish on Mirror. So that's other points for Mirror. Next, we have Audios. Well, what is Audios, you might ask? It's a decentralized music streaming platform. It allows publishing and listening to music without subscription fee. Audios uses a global network of content nodes instead of a centralized service. Artists on Audios retain their full revenue. No deduction are made or will be made. Music curators receive 90% of their revenue in this platform, native cryptocurrency. I think the token is called Audio. So the remaining 10% of the revenue goes to stakers supporting the Audio's network. And Audio's utilizes blockchain technology and a decentralized file system called AltSP based on IPFS to store music files. Artists can run their own content nodes or let audios choose nodes for them. So all these node operators can earn audio token by registration, um, registering their nodes with an active stake. And of course, artists can earn audio token by tracking popularity or by verifying social media accounts and uploading content. Audio token hold, um, holders or hodlers uh, have voting rights in Audio's governance protocol, influencing platform development and decision making. At this point, you most probably be wondering uh, what centralized and decentralized, what are the advantages and disadvantages, and how it is different from each one another. So, in this dynamic digital age, social media has become 
of course, an integral part of our daily lives, connecting us with friends, family, and the world. However, as technology advances, the debate between centralized and decentralized social media platforms has gained significant traction. Since we have covered important ele elements in our early presentations, let us explore the key differences, advantages, and potential implications of these two approaches in shaping our digital interactions. Let's talk about centralized social media. So, centralized social media platforms are the familiar giants that we all know and use, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and much more. So, these platforms act as intermediaries managing and storing vast amounts of user data on centralized server. Through their algorithms, they curate content and control what we see and what we don't see on our feeds. The advantages are, it's um, number one is uh, user friendly. So centralized platforms offer seamless user experiences and intuitive interfaces making them accessible to a wide range of users. Second point will be massive user base. With billions and billions of active users, centralized platforms provide an extensive network for connecting and engaging with people globally. The third point is convenient content moderation. You see, centralized platforms can quickly moderate content maintaining a level of control over their harmful or, well, inappropriate material, if you say. The disadvantages are, number one will be privacy concerns. Since uh, user data is stored on centralized server, it raises privacy and data security issues as users relinquish control over their l information. Second will be algorithmic manipulation. Content curation algorithms may prioritize certain content over the others, potentially affecting the flow of information and user perspective. And finally, single points of control. So what this means is centralized platforms are susceptible to single points of failure and this leads to service disruptions or might be data breaches. Now that we pretty much covered what centralized social media has to offer and the, the basic, of course the disadvantages, let's look at the decentralized social media part. The decentralized social media platforms, as like I mentioned in the beginning, it represents a new paradigm it, it is empowered by the blockchain technology and what it does is instead of relying on centralized server, data is, distributed, is distribu distributed across a network of nodes, ensuring a greater transparency and user control. Here are the advantages. Number one will be data ownership. So, user retain every users it, they retain full ownership and control over their data allowing them to share information securely and selectively second point will be transparency and trust blockchain's immutable nature ensures that the transparency in data handling and enhance the user trust in the platform the third point will be Community Governance The decentralized platforms foster a community-driven governance, giving users a voice in platform rules and content moderation. Now let's look at the disadvantages. User Experience Challenges Now, decentralized platforms may face user experience hurdles as like they are still new, they are still in their early stages of development. I might say that all of this, it's still within the experimental stage. Second will be a limited adoption. Mass adoption of decentralized platforms is actually a work in progress, and their user bases may currently be smaller 
compared to what we have currently, which is on centralized platforms. So um, the third point is complexity for new users. The concept of blockchain and decentralized platforms um, might be considered still challenging for the non-tech savvy users to grasp. So in, in conclusion, all in all, the debate between the centralized and decentralized social media uh, it revolves around the user experience, privacy and governance, while the centralized platforms offer convenience and familiarity. Decentralized platform prioritizes user ownership and transparency. So as technology evolves, it's, it's crucial to be informed about the choices that we make in the digital space. All righty then, that's all for the social file. This is basically an introduction um, for you to learn and get to know more. What is social file? What are the examples? And what kind of features can you see in a social file? Now, let's have something um, interesting, engaging for the audience. We Over here, if you look at the slide, we have two questions for you. So let's take a look at the first one. So what does social file stand for? A, social fiasco. B, social finance, or C, social file. Let's have a five second for the audience to, you know, put your answers in the chat box. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So the correct answer for this question is social finance. It's called social file, not social file. All right. Next, we have uh the question two what are the features of social file a centralized control limited privacy and data vulnerability b incentivized participation content monetization user empowerment and c enhanced privacy data ownership and censorship resistance mm, this is a bit tough one but i believe that we had explain this in our um slide before this so what will be the answer five seconds for all you audience five four three two one and the correct answer will be c ladies and gentlemen we wholeheartedly express our gratitude for your interest in dalvazil and your decision to embark on this thrilling journey but let us assure you, the adventure doesn't come to an end here. In fact, it is imperative that we remain connected and well informed about the latest advancement and updates within the ever-evolving Dalvazil ecosystem. To achieve this, we invite you to join on our various social media channels. By doing so, you will gain immediate access to real-time information about groundbreaking discoveries, emerging trends, and captivating new developments that are shaping the landscape of Web3, SocialFi, and artificial intelligence. Our vibrant social media presence serves as an interactive platform, allowing you to engage with fellow enthusiasts who share your deep passion for the transformative potential of Web3. So don't hesitate to click on that follow button or subscribe button and immerse yourself in our vibrant community. Together, let us explore in the awe-inspiring world of social fi in Web3, hand in hand, as we unveil the future that lies before us. All right, extreme guests, we have come to the end of this presentation. I hope that you like the trivia that we prepared. I saw a lot of you were having fun with the um, questions. Well, of course, I see it. There's a lot of correct answers, and I'm glad that you guys uh, learned something for, uh, from this presentation. We extend our heartfelt gratitude for your esteemed presence, which has elevate, uh, elevate our discussions on Web 3.0 and SocialFi to a new height. Together, we have embarked on a transformative um, journey to reshape the digital realm, ushering in an 
era of creativity and equity. We are deeply grateful for the time and wisdom you have generously shared during our exploration of the rising star in Web 3.0, Sociify. Let us remember that the future lies in our hand, shaped by the collective power of our intellect and the unwavering strength of our determination. Once again, we express our gratitude, sincerely our appreciation, and I bid you farewell until our path converge once more. Stay tuned for our next upcoming topic, which will be the part two of Social Fight. Do stay tuned. Thank you again for your presence and have a lovely day ahead.